Good evening, guys. Just give me a second. I'm going to add the background to. Creo que hay micrófonos activos, chicos. Estamos escuchando ahí el músico. So, thank you very much. Just give me a second. I'm going to add the background so you don't see the window behind me. Okay, there we go. So thank you very much for joining today, guys, and thank you for being here. Welcome to your um, advanced one level. And today we're going to be working with some of the topics, right, that are included in this particular level. So just bear with me. I'm going to share the screen with you so you can see the information. Just give me a second. Um, it's over here. There we go. Let me check. Very good. So guys, for the ones that don't know me, I guess that most of you already know me, right? Because um, you were with me in the previous um, module, but I'm Marcel Ortiz, right? And also some of the important things that I would like to share with you are the following. So I don't know if all of you are already um, registered or enrolled, right, in the WhatsApp group that we have. But if you don't, I'm going to share with you the information through the through the chat. Okay. Let me see. Oh gosh. Give me a second. I'm going to copy the link. There you go. Oh, I see. I oh, yes, that chicos. So that is the um the WhatsApp link, right? The first one because the second one it's a mistake. Um, but that is the uh, link that you need to use for you to access to the WhatsApp group. Um, so today I just sent you a greeting, right? And pretty much the group rules are the following. So always keep to the purpose of the group and be polite and respectful to each other and all questions will be answered during class. So what does that mean? For example, if you need a, a um, if you need to let Ingles Corporativo know that you are not going to be in class, you need to contact the person directly, right? In this case, uh, the person in charge of of this group is Paola Iglesias, if I'm not mistaken. She already introduced herself in the in the WhatsApp group. And anything related to um, the platform, permissions, etc., you need to let her know, right? So in the group, pretty much what we're doing is just sharing information that we need for the class, right? Um, be polite and respectful to each other, right? So remember that we all are free to um, express an opinion, right? And we have to respect each other. So all questions will be answered during class. Remember that it's very difficult to answer a question through the phone, especially through text, right? So I think the best way to do it it's through um, the class, right? So me being here explaining all the details about your questions. As most of you already know, right? It is necessary to obtain an 80% of the score at the end of the course, right? All your evaluations and sections need to get to that score. Um, all the assignments, all the homework assignments are in the platform. So all what you have to do, if it's possible, is to work right after we finish the class or whenever you have the chance so you can complete all of them. Um, it says all the homework and topics, all the homework assignments and topics that have been already covered need to be completed each 
Friday or at the end of the week, right? Uh, by midnight. Um, so that information is being, you know, recorded or registered. So Insafor can take a look at it. Also, um, in this case, if we need extra material, right? Or if we need, you know, um, something additional to what we already have. So I will let you know how and where I'm going to share it. This is the distribution of the topics, as you know, right? Sections one and two are for week number one. Um, in During section two, pretty much we have the chance to study section three and we complete the midterm exam. Uh, for week number three, oh, give me a second. I'm going to open here something very quickly. For week number three, right, we're going to be working with section four. And then for week four, we are going to complete section five and the final exam, okay? Uh, esas normas de convivencia son las principales pues que Inglés Corporativo como empresa, ¿verdad? Que trabaja con Insafor, desea que ustedes conozcan, ¿verdad? Um, we need to use this button, uh, el botón de silencio, right? Um, the complete name, whenever you access to the platform, guys, I mean, to the class, please remember to add your name as you have it on your um, your ID or your DUI, right? And um, that information will be registered. Your participation will be registered uh, during the class. Also, turn on your camera whenever it's possible. I know that sometimes, you know, um, it's a little bit difficult because uh, we, you know, we show our kind of our privacy here, right? But if it's possible, uh, just keep it on uh, all the time. Also, your active participation whenever we have questions, whenever I ask questions, whenever we have the chance to participate. So that would be uh, wonderful that you take advantage of this time. Also raise your hand, right? So if you have a question, so raise your hand and I will be able to see that someone, um, you know, it's with a doubt or with a question. Always show up respect to each other, which is very important, okay? Uh, políticas de asistencia, ¿verdad? Como ustedes ya saben, la temática, pues, hay que avanzar y desarrollar el, la plataforma de aprendizaje en las fechas que, pues, eh, se les va indicando, ¿verdad? Recordemos que no es, uy, perdón, tiene fecha 18 de enero y es, hoy es 27 de febrero. Eh, lo, lo que les decía, no es en sí que vamos por semana como está programada la explicación de la clase, sino más bien que se va de forma, se va adelantando de, de tal forma que para el final del, del, del módulo usted ya tenga su cupo reservado para el siguiente módulo. Así es como se trabaja. Entonces, yo uh, también recuerde tener su cámara encendida y la duración pues de las clases son de 60 minutos. De repente, si hay un minuto que se pierde al principio, yo siempre lo repongo al final para que dentro de la asistencia a usted le cuente como 60 minutos, ¿verdad? Eh, trabajar ejercicios en plataforma de clase, ¿verdad? Recuerde que ahí es donde está todo lo que necesita para pasar el módulo, ¿verdad? Luego, eh, al final, pues usted va a obtener un diploma de participación en el módulo. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta, chicos? Do you have any questions, doubts, remorse? Anyone? No. Okay. Very good. So, well, we're going to begin with our session one. Right, and just before we do that, I'm going to pass the attendance, okay? Give me a second, I'm going to put this over here. And... Mm. Give me a second, guys. It doesn't let me add your your names here in the attendance for some reason. No. I think, I think it's working now. Give me a second, guys. Parece que el listado que me han mandado acá 
está como en stock. Se ha quedado como pensando en I'm unable to see your name. Your names, I'm sorry. Just give me a second. Give me a second, guys. I don't know what's going on with your list. <laughs> it's behaving strangely. Just give me a second. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Just bear with me. Um, bueno, voy a pasar quizás, chicos, la lista sí, sin, sin quizás sin ver en realidad el, el detalle que me han mandado acá, porque... Um, no sé qué está pasando, está como se ha quedado frozen. Bueno, eh, Alba, Dir, por, ti, por tal día, I'm sorry. Alba, Dir, por tal día. Eh, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Francisca García Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Antonio González Nuila. Carlos Antonio, eh, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. Present. Thank you. Diego Anthony Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you. Eh, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Sánchez Jovel. Present. Thank you. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Joaquín Ruperto Ramírez Flores. Eh, José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Thank you. José Francisco Peña Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. José Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. José Jovito Torres Amaya. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present, teacher. Thank you. María Susena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Nady Ibis Méndez Alveño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rafael Antonio Morales Martínez. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Rosa María del Milagro Pérez de Paz. I'm here. Thank you. Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you. Eh, Chensi Marlene León López. And... Present teacher. Thank you, Jensi. And Sulma Beatriz Pérez Galdames. Present. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> there you are. So thank you, guys. Now let's begin here, you know, with the material that we have. Let's take advantage of the time. And one more time, thank you so much for being here. Okay. So, guys, we're going to... Uh, begin with unit number one, right? So during the previous module, you were able to learn lots of things related to vocabulary and also some topics that are taught only in advanced levels, right? So now we're going to take it easy in a different way because actually the vocabulary that we're learning, it's going to be a little bit different or slightly different to the one 
Africa we were dealing um, with in the previous module, right? So friends and family. There are some things that we're going to discuss. We're going to have the chance to talk about um, family with classmates, and we're going to do, do that through the breakout rooms if we have the chance, right? At the end of this class, participants will be able to use verbs followed by gerunds and infinitives, right? So um, pretty much what we're, what we're doing here is to have a review Probably some of you have already studied, right, the use of um, gerunds and infinitives, but if you don't remember or if you um, are willing to learn a little bit more about gerunds and infinitives, so we're going to have a review about it. We're going to separate, you know, the two of them. We're going to first study gerunds and then we're going to study infinitives. Um, the thing here, guys, is that this is the um, the the objective. I'm going to mention infinitives, but actually, if you go to the lesson, in the lesson they are not mentioned, right? No son mencionados. So probably there was some uh, um, a mistake there, and they included infinitives in the uh, in the objective but they didn't include it in the lesson, right? So do you agree with these statements? Complete the survey. Sorry guys, that is a little bit blurry, but I took it from the manual. Um, by the way, por cierto, remember that if you access to the platform and if you go to the last tab, student's manual, right? You can click here and you will be able to download the manual that we are using for this particular module. Let me see, it's loading. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, it's loading, okay. But anyways, here is the section where you will be able to find the, um, the manual. I'm going to open it here. Mientras el carga, I will show it here. Se tarda un poquito porque como Zoom eh, consume recursos del, del equipo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero here you have, right? So here you have, this is the manual, right? This is the one that we're using. And down here below, you have the units. Section one, we're going to be working with friends and family. This is unit one. Section two, we're going to be working with unit two about mistakes and mysteries. Section three, we're going to work with exploring new cities, unit three. And in section four, early birds and night owls. Early birds and night owls, okay? So right now we are here, guys, okay? This is a material that we will, we will be using, right? So don't forget to access that tab in the in the platform okay so do you agree with the statements <laughs> so it says complete the survey personality survey now i know that we have already learned a little bit about some adjectives or personality adjectives but we're going to continue with a little bit more right so here we have personality adjectives we have three different categories right to the statements i definitely agree I somewhat agree and I definitely disagree, okay? So here we have number one, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. Two, I enjoy going to parties where I don't know everyone. Three, I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public. Four, I insist on making my own decisions. Five, I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. Six, I never worry about getting places on time. Seven, I always feel like going dancing. Eight, I can't stand being in a messy, disorganized room. And I prefer telling people how I feel, even if it's embarrassing. Okay, so guys, I want you to think about the way you would answer, right, this questionnaire. Okay, so I'm going to begin 
with the questions and what I need you to do is to go to the chat and to tell me how, I mean, if you agree or disagree with these um, statements, right? So let's begin with the first one, go to the chat, okay? I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. Do you agree or disagree? In my case, I definitely agree. What about you? I definitely agree. Si quieren solo, si tienen la misma, solo copien y peguen, ¿verdad? Para que no estén digitando. So guys, do you agree with giving speeches in front of the class? Yes or no? Yes or no? Hello. In my case, I, I like to talk. Uh, it doesn't matter if I get, if I don't say it, oh, the statement in the right way. Mm -hmm. I try to, uh, I definitely agree, okay? Because I am not afraid, I like, I like to participate. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, Elio, uh, I, I, I totally get you. That's something like me, right? Sometimes we don't know that much. In my case, for example, probably I don't know that much about, you know, what the person is talking, but I like to participate, like, you know, to get involved. Okay, but look at your classmates. Uh, they are saying somewhat agree. They say, I'm shy. <laughs> uh, that's Claudia Marcela. Okay, somewhat agree somewhat agree okay very good so yeah i mean it's kind of difficult right um because given the speeches it's not that easy right uh, when we are talking about speech es ya dar un eh, una una presentación verdad ya dar algo más preparado okay um una charla verdad number two i enjoy going to parties where i don't know everyone do you definitely agree somewhat agree or definitely definitely disagree so what do you think in my case definitely disagree you disagree why jose francisco i don't like to be in a place where i don't know anyone yeah i like to be with my friends or someone with i can talk or hi that you feel like related with mm -hmm. okay yeah. very good what about do we have someone here that says yes teacher i definitely agree does anyone agree with going to a party where you don't know you know people anyone no Okay, I think we all agree on this one, right? Creo que todos sí coincidimos. Because as, as, as Jose was saying, right? So, I mean, if you if you go to a party, it's because you know the people there, right? And because you want to have fun and they invited you because they want you there. They want to share with you as well, right? Uh, three, avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public. Do you definitely agree, somewhat agree, or definitely disagree? Uh huh. Uh huh. So, what do you think? I avoid expressing my feelings, feelings and ideas in public. This uh, somewhat agree. I think it is important to take care of what we say. Mm -hmm, definitely. In my case, for example, I think it's been, you know, uh, a problem because sometimes I feel I'm kind of too honest, right? No, but I, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not mean. What I, what I, what I meant is that I am very honest and I express, you know, um, the things that I feel, and but not in a bad way. I don't, don't get, don't get me wrong, but it's like I talk too much or I say too much about me. So probably that's what I mean. And then your classmates say somewhat agree. Yeah, I mean, it's okay, but you need to, as Claudia Marcela says, you need to take care of what, of what you say. You need to be careful, especially the people you tell to, right? Three, I avoid, oh no, I'm sorry, four, I insist 
on making my own decisions. I insist on making my own decisions. Definitely agree. Someone agree or definitely disagree. What do you think, guys? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Let me see. Somewhat agree, they say. Okay, somewhat agree. Yeah, I mean, we try to um, uh, take, I mean, make our own decisions, right? Most definitely. <clears throat> now, guys, the reason why we are using these sentences is because I want you to pay attention to the verbs. Can you tell me what is the common, what is the common factor or the common denominator in all the sentences from one to nine? What is the common thing that you can see there? What is repeated in each sentence? ENG. Okay. Form and infinity. Okay, very good, right? So pretty much the, the, the common thing that we have here, it's the ING, right? And some infinitives over there, right? But the star of this show is the ING. So as you can see, I'm not afraid of giving speeches, right? <clears throat> I enjoy going to parties. I avoid expressing my feelings. I insist on making my own decisions. <clears throat> I So I don't mind giving up my time. I never worried about getting places on time. I always feel like going dancing, right? I can't stand being in a messy, disorganized room. I prefer telling people how I, how I feel, even if it's embarrassing, okay? So as you can see, this is the common denominator, right? The common or the common form that we have in each sentence. Now, <clears throat> what happens here, the topic or the main um, theme is infinitives. I mean, gerunds, right? Gerunds, because actually gerunds are the ones that will help us with this type of verbs that we have here. So what do we have before the, the first verb, before given? What do we have there? Uh, simple present. Simple present. What is before? This of preposition. Ah, okay. A preposition. Very good. Okay, let me see if I can get another color like this. Here we have of, right? We have a preposition. Very good. Before going. We have a verb, right? Enjoy. Number three, we have the a verb, avoid. Number four, we have another preposition. Then we have another verb, mind. We have another preposition, about. We have another verb, like. We have another verb, stand. And we have another verb, prefer. Okay, so what happens with these um, things, with these uh, words? Well, whenever we are using prepositions and we want to use a verb after the prepositions, you need to use uh, an ing verb, okay? So you cannot uh, uh, just use the verb if it's not going to be in the infinitive form. Um, then we have other verbs. There is a list of verbs that we use, right, for a, the for the um, for the, the 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 usage, right, of the ing form. Just give me a moment. Oh, I'm sorry. I was checking here to uh, uno de los mensajes. 
de Paola, pero creo que ya se conectaron todos, ¿verdad? Estaba diciendo ella que faltaban tres. Que me hace... Ahí está. Ok. There we go. So um, then, what happens here? We have another list, right? The verbs enjoy, avoid, insist on or on, right? Mind, like, stand, preferred. All of those verbs go with the with the gerund form, right? And also we have prepositions such as of, on, about, right? That whenever we use them, we need to go ahead and include a uh, verb plus ing. But let's go ahead and see, right, a little bit of vocabulary before we move to the topic, okay? Let me erase all my drawings. Oh, questions about the vocabulary? Preguntas de vocabulario, chicos, de lo que ven en pantalla? Questions? No questions? Okay, very good. Let's continue. Okay. So the question, how would you describe yourself, guys? How would you describe yourself? I think this is very difficult. Whenever someone asks you to describe yourself, I think it's easy whenever you, uh, when, whenever you describe someone else rather than to do it with yourself, right? So it says, which statement from the survey above matches these personality traits, right? Write the correct number, then compare the answers with a partner. So friendly and outgoing, that would go with number two. But right now, what I don't want to do the activity itself. What I want you to do is to take a look at the vocabulary words, okay? So we have friendly and outgoing. Friendly and outgoing. So an outgoing person is going to be that person that it's kind of ex ex extrovertive, I think it's the word, or a person that likes to talk a lot, that is not, you know, shy, a person that is always talking and getting along with everyone. Then we have strong and independent. Ahí cuidado con la pronunciación porque no es strong, porque no hay una E. Is strong, right? And independent, right? Then we have laid back. Laid back, it's a relaxed person. It's a person that doesn't worry about things. It's a person that um, is always, you know, chill, right? Está super tranquila o chilly, como dicen, right? So it, that person is relaxed. Then we have another two, I mean, we have other two um, words or adjectives that are related, and those are kind and generous. Kind and generous. Then we have honest and sincere. Honest and sincere, right? We have shy and reserved. Shy and reserved. Right. So those are two adjectives, you know, for that people that do not like to talk a lot or they are very careful with what they say, etc. We have wild and crazy, right? Wild and crazy. Okay. Wild and crazy are for those, you know, uh, people that like to go out, like to, you know, dangerous thing, like dangerous sports and are, they are very witty. Witty. Witty is in Spanish ocurrente. Is this word? I think it's like this. Witty. Ocurrente, right? So, um, you know, those are wild and crazy. Then we have calm and cool. Calm and cool. You know, the L over there, it's kind of very soothed. Casi que ni se escucha. Calm and cool. And then we have neat and tidy, neat and tidy. It's that person that is always, you know, very um, clean, right? And you see from head to toe, it's clean, it's neat, it's tidy. Siempre ordenadita y aseada, right? So that's neat and tidy. 
Okay, so questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about the vocabulary words? Okay. What is yes, it? yes. What is traits? Traits, characteristics. Mm -hmm. Whenever we're talking about a personality, whenever we're talking about a, um, those features or characteristics in psychology, we use the word tra traits, right? So traits, traits are characteristics or features. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? No? Oh, you know what? I found another word. Look, in Google, the word trait right it's a characteristic in english right the synonyms are a characteristic attribute feature quality and in spanish we could say rasgos right so that would be a word that better fits probably uh, the spanish um translation mm -hmm. anyone else Okay, very good. Uh, what other um, useful expressions can we use, right, uh, when we are talking about personality or describing, you know, personality? Same traits, right? Same traits. In this case, so I am, no, I'm sorry, so am I, or I am too, right? I'm the same way. Yo soy de la misma forma, right? Uh, so do I. Yo también. Neither do I. Yo tampoco, right? This is, um, we are going to probably talk about these expressions in a different class so you can see more examples, right? But right now I would like to have the introduction to the grammar topic. But these useful expressions, guys, you need to learn them, ¿verdad? Porque aquí es donde decimos yo también. Yo tampoco. Entonces, sometimes we have problems, you know, with saying this in English. So we're going to practice a little bit with this one, but in the next class. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the topic that we have. We're going to break it in two. We're going to break it down in two sections, okay? First, we're going to talk about gerunds. And later, we're going to talk about infinitives. As one of your classmates was saying, first, in the first exercise, we were able to find gerunds and some infinitives, right? So, for example, we have here, a gerund always follows these verbs. I enjoy meeting Usual, unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. So the verbs enjoy, dislike, mind, and avoid always take a gerund after, right? After them. Now, an infinitive or gerund can follow these verbs. O sea, teacher, que tenemos una lista para los que van con gerundio y una lista para los que van con gerundio y, o, con, o con infinitivo. Yes, that is correct. We have some verbs that can go with either or, con el uno o el otro. I like going to parties, I like to go to parties, I love watching or I love to watch movies alone, I hate waiting or I hate to wait for people, I can't stand staying or I can't stand to stay home alone. Okay, so if you see right here, we have four verbs. Esos cuatro verbos que ustedes ven ahí son Los cuatro verbos más comunes con los que usted va a poder usar el uno o el otro. So, like, love, hate, and stand or can't stand pueden ir ya sea con gerund o con infinitive. Okay? So, what is the characteristic of a gerund? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuáles son las car ¿Cuál es la característica de un gerundio? So, whenever we talk about gerund, what comes to our mind is ing form. 
okay? The ING form like in dancing, speaking, right? Listening, cooking, drinking, etc. right? So those are gerunds, son los gerundios, right? Now, what comes to my mind when I listen the word, I mean, yeah, to the word infinitive? Well, generally what comes to our mind is the particle to, right? To dance, to speak, to listen, to cook, to drink, okay? So that is the difference uh, in the characteristic, right, of between gerund and infinitive. But there is a third category. Hay una categoría más, chicos. Y ahí es donde a veces uno se confunde. Porque le llamamos infinitivos también a estos, miren. Give me a sec. Hay unos, bye. Let's go ahead and do something. We're going to write here gerund. And this is infinitive, right? Infinitive. Now, what happens with this one? Bear infinitive. Bear infinitive, guys, es, es en la categoría que muchos le llamamos la forma base. Todos nos acostumbramos y no está mal porque algunos libros pues así le, le de esa forma lo llaman, ¿verdad? Pero es el bear infinitive es el que no lleva nada, right? So, I dance. Speak, oops, speak, um, listen, um, cook, and drink. Estos serían los bear infinitives. ¿Qué significa la palabra bear? Sin nada. Bear infinitive. Sin ser conjugado, sin nada. Right? So, dance, speak, listen, cook, and drink. Those are bear infinitives. Entonces, Esas, esas dos categorías, las primeras dos, son de las que estamos hablando. ¿Ok? What are the verbs? What are the verbs that I can uh, use with gerunds and infinitives? Vamos a ver quién se acuerda. What are the verbs that I can use with gerunds and infinitives, guys? Solo son cuatro. ¿Cuáles son? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. Hate. Ok, love. Hey, like, 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 stand, stand, or can stand. Hey. Okay, stand, sí, muy bien. Stand or can stand, creo que es. Very good, exactly. Love, hate, like, can't stand, okay? So those are the four expressions or verbs that we're going to use with either or. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, now... Déjeme presentarle otra información adicional que yo les traje. Give me a second. I'm going to open my second presentation. Bye. Aquí está. Ok. Verb plus ing. Uh, here, guys, I'm going to be sharing some examples, right, with the... Um, um, with this presentation that I prepared about the usage of gerunds. But before I do that, antes de eso, hagamos una cosa. Creo que les puedo conseguir una lista ahorita para que ya nos quede. Uh, for the usage, of, the use of, I'm sorry, gerunds. Let me see. That will be gerund list of verbs. And I think there are several Hay varias, déjenme ver si encuentro la que yo usaba. Let me see. I think it's this one, creo que es esta, es una. Esta es otra. And let me see. Give me a second. Ok, this one, este que le voy a pasar, es más, quiero ver si puedo tenerla en, en, en grande. It's, it's very simple, and I will explain that in detail, right? 
Also, there is another one here. Aquí hay otra creo que está mejor que la... Sí, esta la voy a mandar, permítame. Um... Give me a sec. Porque si ya la tenemos de un solo, no, no nos quedamos esperando. Ah, ok, ok. Tiene un montón de ejemplos. Bye. Ok. Entonces, I will share with you this one. Vamos a ver. Aquí está. Quiero ver. Miren si les aparece en el chat, chicos. Pueden revisar, porfa. Yeah. This is, okay, very good, excellent. So there you have the list of infinitives and gerunds, ¿verdad? There is a list for verbs, uh, for infinitives. Also, there is a list for um, objects and infinitives. There is another list for gerunds, right? Verbs followed by a preposition and a gerund. Uh, some common verbs followed by gerunds, right? Ahí están varios. Eh, followed by the infinitives y también llevan ejemplos, right? Así que ay, creo que ahí le va a servir bastante ese material. Okay, so there you have it. I'm going to convert it to PDF for the uh, ones that print material. I think the PDF version is going to be better. Bye. And also, I'm going to give you the PDF version. I think it's list. Yes. So, I have in Word, Eva, and in PDF. There we go. Bye. This is the end. Let's take a look at what it says here. We say, I enjoyed reading. Not I enjoy to read. Mm -mm. No, guys. Whenever you use the verb enjoy, right, and you want to use another verb right after enjoy, that verb needs to be a, a gerund, right? Would you mind closing the door? Not mind to close, right? Uh, Te importaría, verdad, cerrar la puerta. So mind, the verb mind, it's always followed by a gerund, okay? Chris suggested doing, uh, going to, this, to the cinema, right? Not suggested to go, right? So we need to be careful with that one. If I suggest doing something, right? I need to use that gerund right after suggested. There, take a look at the example. Would you mind closing the door? She says, right? Then after enjoyed, mind and suggest we use verbs in ing verbs in ing right so some verbs that are followed by verbs in ing include stop finish recommend considered admit denied avoid risk imagined feel and all feel like in this case right so there you have some examples, okay? Suddenly, everybody stopped talking. There was silence, right? I'll do the shopping when I finished cleaning the apartment. He tried to avoid answering my questions. I don't feel like going out this evening. So the expression, I don't feel, is not, no tengo ganas de, o cuando yo digo lo contrario, I feel like going, Oh, this evening is, me siento con ánimo de o tengo ganas de, ¿verdad? So, have you ever considered going to live in another country? They said they were innocent. They denied doing anything wrong. Now, here we are including, right, only affirmative sentences. But what happens with the negative, right? ¿Qué sucede con la parte, de, con, las, con, las, con las oraciones que son negativas? ¿Cómo las voy a hacer? Bueno, si queremos expresar algo de forma negativa, tenemos que usar not. Not 
the verb plus the ing. For example, when I'm on vacation, I enjoy not having to get up early. Wow, right? Um, getting up early, it's kind of difficult, especially these days with the traffic that we are experiencing, right? So it's kind of, wow, um, exhausting. Okay, so guys, do you have questions so far? Preguntas para pasar el momento? Questions so far? Questions? No, okay. Very good. So if you don't have questions, let's go ahead and work in this exercise, okay? It says, complete the verbs for each situation. Use verbs plus ing. What shall we do? Ese shall que ustedes ven ahí es el mismo will, pero es más formal. What shall we do? We could go to the zoo. So she suggested, what did she suggest, guys? What did she suggest? She suggested. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera? She, uh, she suggested going to the movie. To the movies? To, to the, to the, to the what? <laughs> the to the zoo. To the zoo, to the zoo, yes. Exactly, that's correct. That will be the answer, right? So she suggested going to the zoo, okay? What about the rest? ¿Qué hay de las demás? Let's go ahead and work on this ones, okay? So work on two, three, four, five, and six, okay? And then we're going to check the answers. Vamos a chequear respuestas después de unos minutos. Let me know when you finish, okay? Avísenme cuando terminen para que podamos avanzar al siguiente ejercicio, okay? So take uh, three minutes, okay? Three to four minutes. Le voy a poner un timer para que ustedes lo escuchen, okay? Timer. We're going to give you four minutes right now. So here you have
Once you're ready, let me know, guys. We have still 25, 24, 23 seconds. Are you ready? Not yet. Yes, no, maybe. Yes, this is you. Okay, very good. So let's listen to some volunteers. Okay, so um, number one, it's already done, right? So she, she, she suggested going to the zoo. What about number two? Number two, volunteer to read this one? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Me. Go ahead, Rafael. It didn't feel like playing tennis. Okay, very good. Exactly, right? He didn't feel like playing tennis. Good job. Number three. Number three. Volunteer for number three. Raise your he hand. Did, he denied causing the accident. Ah, okay. So he denied causing the accident. Thank you so much, Francisco. And Sandra, can you please tell me number three? Number three. She suggested uh, going to work. Okay, very good. Uh, the pronunciation is suggested, right? So she suggested going for a walk. Going for a walk. Very good. And then Francisco was telling us he denied causing the accident, right? He denied causing the accident. Good job. What about number five, guys? Number five, volunteer? Raise your hand, preferably because I can see your name if, if you raise your hand. So thank you, Alejandra. They didn't mind uh, waiting a few minutes. Mm -hmm. They didn't mind waiting a few minutes. Very good. Thank you so much, Alejandra. And the last one, the last one. Anyone? Oops, sorry. Number six. There we go. She admitted not telling the truth. Okay, she admitted not telling the truth. Very good. Okay. Teníamos dos opciones, and you use one of them. You can say she admitted lying or she admitted not telling the truth. Very good job, guys. Excellent. So that's a little bit of the use of gerunds. We're going to continue tomorrow with more information. Don't worry, we're going to go deeper, you know, in, with, with this topic. Así que I'm going to stop right here y voy a pasar asistencia en este momento, okay? Alba Dir Portal Díaz. Thank you. Uh, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Here. Thank you. Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio González Nuila. <coughs> Carlos Antonio. Eh, oh, give me a second. Ahí está. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. Present. Thank you. Diego Anthony Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Eh, Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present. Thank you, Francisco Present. Antonio Sánchez Joven. Present. Thank you, Jaime Roberto, no, Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you, Joaquín Roberto Ramírez Flores. Joaquín. Ok. Um, José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present. Thank you. Um, Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Present. Thank you. Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present. Thank you. Um, Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present. Thank you. María Azucena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you, Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. 
present teacher. Thank you. Nady Ibis Mendez Alveño. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Rosa Maria de Milagro Pérez de Paz. I'm here. Thank you, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jensi Marlene León López. Present teacher. Thank you, Enzulma Beatriz Pérez Galdames. Present. Thank you so much. Guys, just one thing. Don't forget to check your access. Don't forget to check the platform, right? If you have any problems with the access, please let, let us know. Hay que um, reportar si de repente no puedo acceder o si tiene algún problema con la plataforma. De acuerdo, así pues podemos empezar lo más pronto posible a trabajar en ella. Así que thank you very much for joining, guys. Have a good night and let's meet tomorrow, okay? Nice to see you. Good night, teacher. Good, good night. night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care.